What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today we're gonna to take a look at some interesting vehicles out here at IAA as we get into an IAA walk around and then the live auction. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, we have a whistling diesel special. <laughs> you know, is this a squatted truck? Do not. I will literally, I will buy this and donate it to the cause. <laughs> I thought this was a squatted Tahoe. It's just missing wheels. But this is what y'all's Tahoes look like. When you squat them, they look like somebody stole your rims, man. Damn. I bet it's... Oh, wow. What in the Alabama and Arkansas were y'all doing in here? Damn, they were stripping this joint. They were straight stripping... They were stripping this joint. Damn, they stole the seats. <laughs> Yo... They were taking everything out of this door panels. Look, they were stealing this joint. They was parting this joint out. Bose sound system. This wasn't the cheap one either. This was the nice one. Damn. Why y'all gotta do it? go and do that? That's funny. That's hilarious. All right. Well, we can keep it moving on that note. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. That was funny. That was funny. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, we got another ML Mercedes. Now, these are normally reliable trucks, but that's right. It's here from Pedal. What does that mean? Hell no. <laughs> I've not been on it. Uh-oh. We got LED tail lights. Somebody started to clap it out. Yep. And it's over here in the section where they have bad electrical cars, so. Oh, the key doesn't even work. That's hilarious. Oh, she's got power. Well, that might be what the electrical stuff is. 136 degrees, huh? It ain't that hot. She's only got 90,000 miles. This probably runs all right. Well, somebody probably clapped it out though. Interior doesn't look horrible. And unfortunately, this is not one that we can jump. So before y'all say, use your jump pack. The cars that are over here in this section cannot be jumped, guys. Because they evidently have clear electrical issues. Which is understandable. I don't see a uh, release point for this. On either side. And the one down, and there's not one down here, which means it might be broken. Someone's gonna be like, no, TK, it's over here, it's over there. Oh well, I don't care, it's a pedal car. Not like I'm really interested in it. Now here's something I definitely would be interested in. We got a 3500 Ram Cummins with the 24 valve turbo diesel. I am all about it. Now I know you're gonna say, TK, they have horrible transmissions. I know. <laughs> I had one of these. I know. Now it looks like she took a hit down the side, but that doesn't really scare me. Fender flare, 
Ooh, look at that rim. Yeah, you took a hit down the side all right. You hit something hard. Damn. Uh... All right. So, at a minimum, we're looking at suspension. I bet you that rear end needs to be fixed. So, I need a door. That's not hard to find. A fender, also not hard to find. And a corner and a corner light. Probably needs a little bit of suspension work, unless you caught whatever down here. Let's look, take a look and see. I have to see this in post. We'll see this at the same time when I premiere it, if I see anything bent. But I'll do the same in the rear. Oh, I can see the wheel. It's kind of out. The rear axle might be done. Damn. It is listed as a run and drive. Oh, you locked it. Oh, that sucks. Dashboard is all broken. Yeah. She would require some work, but she would be a, these things are workhorses, man. This thing would be a great truck once you get it, you know, get a good transmission for it. Should be a great truck. Let's take a look over here and see. I have to see it in post. I don't see. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Well, eh, something to consider. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Now let's roll on to the next one. Now this Magnum was definitely interesting to me. Service King paint and body. So somebody bought this, brought it there. They probably didn't pay them or they abandoned it. It's an 06. Army veteran. All right, I see you. I'm willing to bet you it's probably a V6. Looking at these tires and whatnot. Yeah, looking at that shifter, it looks like it's a V6. Basic interior. Yeah. Oh, doesn't hurt to look though. We'll take a look. See what engine she's got. Mm. Uh oh. Oof. 2.7 liter V6, aka hot garbage. Look, you can see all the dark points in there. That's all oil. Absolute hot garbage. I should have never made this car with a 2.7 liter six. Good for a motor swap though. Be a perfect candidate, straight body lines, the whole nine for a motor swap. You know, throw a elephant in that bitch, swap the front end, you know, put the charger front end on it. I like the rear end in it. I've seen people putting the charger rear ends on these now, but leave the rear end the same, put the charger front end on it. <laughs> With the honeycomb thing on the front. Oh yeah. Yep. That thing would be a beast. Now this one right here. Anybody want to guess what this is? Let me let y'all guess. Yep. That is the V10 Viper truck. That's right. Same engine that the Dodge Viper has right here the v10 viper truck can't beat it clean runs good supposedly you know but 
looking at the this is and I'm, I'm i'm spoiling it because i've already looked at the vent and ran it on it it's actually clean um no issues there's no like major title issues with the vehicle no major accidents it looks like somebody was just trying to restore or get her get her right and uh just didn't finish the job love that right there though so oh and you see this right here so you this is what i love about this so you turn the key on right turn the key to the on position and then you hit this then you hit the engine start button it takes two steps one two this was an absolutely beautiful truck man wow wow that's all i can say about that wow to the wow 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 i mean that is beautiful let's look and see what the motor looks like Uh-oh. Don't tell me that now. <laughs> I'm literally looking at this and I'm like, wait a minute. No. There we go. Whew. Look at that Viper engine right there. That Viper engine right there, boy. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, guys, this thing would be a beast. This thing would be an absolute beast. I want it. I want it super bad. I want this thing super, super bad. Woo! Oh, I had to paint it, though. I can't do this food stamp silver. And they were getting it ready. They were doing the body. Somebody was getting it right. They were getting her right. They were getting her together. Look. The other bumper and stuff is here from the front. They were getting her right. They were starting to get it right. They were getting the, all the stuff sanded. This thing, oh man, this thing, if this thing was finished, it would be absolutely beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Damn. This thing would be beautiful. Now this thing has sat here for a while and it is finally coming up. They had title issues on it for a long time, but now she's good. Yeah, I'd have to quad exhaust that, but you know, new body kit for it. I like the lid, that's not bad, but new body kit for it, Viper emblems and stuff. This thing would be, this thing would be bananas, man. This thing would be absolutely bananas. Well, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below. I'm very seriously considering, you know, between the Toronado and this, you know, if I lose out on the Toronado, I'd, I'd dump a bag on that. This is something that would take me probably, I know you guys hate for me to say it, but this would probably take me close to a year to get it right. About a year, and I'd have her right, right, right where it needs to be. Man, beautiful truck. All right, guys, it's going to give me time for us to look at one more interesting vehicle before we get out of here. And we'll probably look at some of the ATVs or some of the other cool stuff. And then we'll, uh, we'll uh, keep it moving. But look at, man, some of these vehicles in here are just <laughs> the level of smash. Well guys, you know what I thought? Instead of looking at one more car, why don't we look at a few bikes? Shout out to my dude, the Road, the Road Glide Rider. A 48, this is a Harley Davidson, huh? Whew, that's clean. I don't see any keys, so I'm not gonna screw with that. You know what I'm going for. You immediately know where I'm going for. I'm going straight to the Busa. 
I'm going straight to the Busa. You already know. Straight to the Busa. Let's see if she's got any juice. I got to put y'all up. There's another Busa right there. Oh, this is over with. Busa on Busa on Busa. Hold on. Listen. <laughs> Yo, listen here, man. Oh, somebody left it on, you dicks. They do that on purpose, man. Oh. See, a bike like this, like, she got laid down, so I don't even think the forks are bad. Ooh, the exhaust is all bad, though. Oof. Yeah, that's more than I want to deal with. Clean, though. Then you got this Busa right here. Another one. Laid down. You can see the exhaust is all tore up. Peg on this side is all tore up. But outside of that, like even the fairings, like I could probably even sand that and paint it. I might not even have to replace these fairings because I think I can bend this down. I know I can. Hold on. Look at that. Snap right back in. Now the upper parts up here are broken. Expected. I just hope the forks ain't bent. No keys though, huh? Damn. Wow, what a beautiful bike, man. I don't know, man. I think I want to get me another Busa. I know you're going to tell me don't do it because that's, you know, I got off of them because I drove them for years and didn't die. You're going to be like, TK, you're going to get one. Your YouTube channel is going to end. No, no, man. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Oh. Yeah. Oof. Toasty. Yeah. KTM. This little bike just got ran through it. Oh, Honda Goldwing. <laughs> you know, I got to fix. We got that one in the garage in the shop. I have to transport that out here so that we can actually uh, fix it. Oh, I got to put you guys down here. Oh. <sighs> One of the first things I do when I get a bike like that is disable that safety feature. I hate having to hit the clutch to turn the key on. But I know it's a safety thing. Oh, she's got power. Uh-oh. Is she in neutral, though? She does not look to be in neutral. Well, I guess I'll hold the clutch. Let's see if she... uh. We'll run. Nope. Nope. Doesn't look that way. Doesn't look like she's going to run. So nothing on here. Not going to work. Next. We got an Indian. Those are usually cool. But the batteries on these things die. Ooh, that's a bullet hole. That is a straight bullet hole. Hell no. Wow. So, it got laid down or they got shot? My guess. Well, guys. I don't know if we got a four-wheeler over here. Look at that. Busted suspension. We got another Busa. Another three Busas. Three Busas in one video. Oh my God. But we have no, oh, this one really, yeah. See, I don't want to buy a bike that I know somebody died on. So negative on that. This one says Las Vegas Metro PD. So you was probably running and it got caught. Or, because I don't see any lay down marks and I don't see any damage. Unless you got hit. Maybe you got bumped in traffic or something. Oh no, it's stolen. Never mind. It's stolen. Ignition is gone. Uh uh uh. Well, I would like to show you guys. Uh, something running, but it doesn't look like we got anything out here that runs, unfortunately. This one got hit in the rear. 
We'll look and see if she's got any juice. Probably not. Oh, she does. Say less. Oh, we're good. Let's see if she fires up. Is she in neutral? She is in neutral. Runs. She runs. And where I got hit in the rear, fender replacement. Take that fender off, I bet she rides. I don't see any other bends in the arm. I bet you this one runs just fine. No issues. Replace that fender. Replace your lights. I mean, you probably can reuse the turn signal thing, but you're going to have to replace the fender and the lights. Oh, she's smoking over here? What's smoking? Oh, she's burning the oil. So maybe getting the hit broke something up here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what well, that? All right, guys. That's it for the bikes. And uh, maybe I'll take a quick walk through here, see if I see anything interesting, and if not. Then we'll wrap up. Oh, we got a Monte Carlo SS. That's a Lucky Wheels and Deals thing right there, boy. Title Max. Flat tire. Oh, and it's locked. So it was a repo repo. Ooh. Damn. All right. Fender. Headlight. Bumper. Unless you can fix that. Probably not. Door looks like it's all right. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-mm. Nope. You got rotted, rotting food and stuff in there. Mm-mm. Yeah, ignition looks like it's been all busted. Yeah. It's fixable. I just don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's worth it. Let's see what's up with this Cadillac. Now, all those cars, I'm going to let you guess what's up with all those cars with the, uh, with the red bags on them. <laughs> We're not looking at those. Oh. Cadillac. 1998. You get a little bit of a hit in the front. Grill's busted. Paint's all cracked and falling off on the front. Top is coming apart. It's not totally horrible. Have to redo the top for sure. How's the back look? She doesn't look terrible. She does not look terrible. It is a D elegance. I remember I bought one of these. Remember we got a green one like this a while back in Florida for cheap. What was it? 500 bucks? That I bought from that dealer because he couldn't figure out why it wasn't running. And this is the clear coming up here. So the actual paint's right there. Probably could clean that up, you know, like you know, DA it really hard. I don't know if it would need to be repainted or just recleared. Probably just repaint it, huh? All right, guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this IAA walk around. If you guys want to check out um, the live auction, we're gonna jump into that now, see what some of the cars are actually selling for, give you guys an idea of how much uh, some, of, some of the vehicles like this go for at auction and whether or not you wanna sign up and maybe do this yourself. Uh, questions and comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I am pretty active in the comments. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at TK's Garage or you can follow us on Facebook, TK's Garage Vids, that's V-I-D-S. Yes, Facebook, we did get the Facebook page back finally. And um, yeah, but if you like these videos out here, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the live auction 
and see what some of these vehicles are selling for. Now, before we do that, though, I do got to give a major shout out to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile is the great wireless service where you can pay 90 bucks for three months of totally unlimited service. Like, it is absolutely unheard on the full, full power of the T-Mobile network. You don't have, like, lower priority like you would have on, say, Metro or some other network. You're getting the full network, full power, ultra capacity, all of that. 90 bucks three months that is for the totally unlimited plan they have other plans that are cheaper if you don't need unlimited data but that concludes hotspot and everything else it is the best absolute best deal in prepaid wireless so definitely go check them out at mintmobile.com link in the description down below and i truly appreciate them sponsoring the channel and allowing me to do what i do and bring you guys this great content anyways till next time guys thank you guys very much for watching i truly appreciate it and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let's get into the live auction.